Welcome to Chit Chat with Ross and Robbie, where we like to chat about Chit. And welcome to Sunday. Say on Sunday. Say on Sunday. Oh, Robbie, the Sunday. scary stuff. I know. It's the scary stuff. I know, right? This is stuff you don't really like that much. No, it kind of makes me uneasy. Why does it make you uneasy, Paige? Um, I'm not real sure. Um, maybe because it's the unknown. I know. Are you worried that the boogie boogies are going to come and get you in the middle of the neck? No. Okay. No. So have you, like, okay, so have you never had any type of spooky experience? Now we're going to go through like, whether it's a ghost or like a bad feeling that maybe something's haunting you. Uh, I don't think I've ever witnessed a ghost. I really don't. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't know because I've never experienced it. Oh, so you need to experience one. Yeah, no. but no. Okay. Um, okay. I've taken ghost tours because I do find it very interesting. Um, but I'm not sure how much I really buy into it because I've never personally experienced it. But if you, but I'm fine. I'm fine with it that way. But if you feel that like ghosts potentially are not real, then what do you enjoy about doing a ghost tour? I don't know that they're potentially not real. Okay. I'm really just on the fence because I've not experienced that. I know that when I was young, I went to one of my aunt's house, and I feel very strongly that I experienced what was a ghost experience. Um, I, my, the place that I was supposed to be staying, they had a guest bedroom down in the basement, and so my parents uh, needed adult time upstairs with all the relatives, and so the kids were dispensed downstairs to play with all the toys, and I was late in joining everybody, so I was, I think I... I think either they went outside or something, but I was the only one going down in the basement. And at the end of the hallway, there was a bedroom that was always locked and we weren't allowed to go into. And there was it's always light. at the end of the hallway. Always at the end of the hallway. And there was a light underneath the door. And I thought that light was not on before, and now it was. And then I can tell you for real that this thing opened the door, chased me up the stairwell, and pulled me back down the stairs. And I freaked out and like, because of that, I believe in ghosts, like no matter what. Oh my. So then the other question is, is so do you believe, like, do you believe there's a difference in ghosts and evil spirits? Do you feel that falls into the same category? No, I think that there's probably good spirits and not so good spirits um, as far as ghosts or evil or anything. I don't know. I mean, I think there's probably spirit because we all have spirits that sometimes you know, so at any point, like, stuff. okay, so I mean, you know, we've had people in our lives who pass and gone mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Do you feel at any point that you would ever do the seance thing and reach out to them? Um, I have a funny feeling about seances. Yeah, me too. Um, a couple of my um, great grandmothers actually were um, a little, um, what's the word? Uh, Eccentric? No. no. I don't know. Well, it's the word. It's Did they do elderberry wine? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't think. I can't, I can't help anyway, you. Anyway, anyway. So one of them fully believed in... Paranormal? No. I don't know. Anyway, there's a whole thing about, you know, you've got the little Ouija board, yeah. right? Black arts, kind of. I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, but like Parker Brothers makes a lot of games. Yes, they do. They yeah. mass produce little Ouija boards. I don't believe in that. Okay, I think those are probably not real. Okay, but they are. But they're mass produced by Parker Brothers. Oh. <laughs> or another toy company. Um, uh, they're mass produced, and so those I don't know. But if, I, if I was feeling very strongly about really needing to feel more about something, I would probably invest in that thought. But I do. I watch a lot of like paranormal shows. I watch a lot of Hereafter and that sort of thing. Um, I believe there's a lot to be said about it. I know that according to certain board games, that the thing about it is, is they have as much power as you give them. So the thought process on that is, is if you believe strongly that some entity is reaching out to you, my assumption is you can make that happen. And on that note, what we would like to know is have you ever had an entity reach out to touch you in any way? And what is that word I was trying to what think of? What is she of? thinking of? Because obviously you are that word and you can think of that word for her. Clairvoyant? No. Ah. But if you were clairvoyant, you would know that's 
what she's not thinking of. It's right. It's right. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about spooky stuff like ghosts and spirits and life beyond the grave and going beyond and coming back and all those sorts of things. Leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to share us. Don't forget to like us. Don't forget to look for us over on YouTube. And we'll see you next time on Facebook. Bye. Love you.